Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my December TBR. So I am going to be trying to do two to three videos a week in December just to kind of get myself back in the groove of doing booktube. I know that I have come back every once in a while with like a TBR video and been like, oh, I'm gonna come back and then I have not come back and I'm sure you're tired of me saying that. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on. So I have created a list of, I think it's eight or nine books that I want to get to in December. I've been averaging around between 7 and 12 books a month. It kind of depends. Over the last couple months I haven't been in the biggest reading mood so it's been a little touch and go there with the reading. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to December. I hope that you guys are excited to see some more videos from me um, and let's go ahead and get started. So my biggest priority is to finish The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the third and final book in the Poppy War trilogy. It's a trilogy that I really enjoyed. I've listened to all of them as audiobooks and while I do sometimes lose a little bit of my concentration while listening to them, I do still really enjoy these books. I do think that eventually I'd like to read them physically because I know that there is some stuff that I have missed, but I still really fully enjoy this series. I'm not going to go into too much of of the plot because it is the third book in a series but I'm sure that you guys have heard of the poppy war so far in your booktube watching so I'm really enjoying that series and I can't wait to finish the book I know it's been having some pretty mixed reviews people love the ending people hate the ending which I know is like typical with the final book in a series but yeah looking forward to that one next up we have this is my America by Kim Johnson this follows our main character Tracy who's father is on death row and she's been writing letters to this organization to get some sort of help. He has about 250 days left and then her brother gets arrested for allegedly murdering a white girl and so her life gets completely flipped upside down and I honestly haven't heard as many people talking about this book as I feel like should be talking about it considering it has like a 4.5 um, star rating on Goodreads. I haven't been super into to um, contemporary YA this year, but I think that this sounds really promising and it is blurbed by Nick Stone who wrote Dear Martin, which is an excellent book if you haven't read that already. And the cover is beautiful and I feel like this one's just gonna be really hard hitting and eye-opening and educational. So I will definitely be getting to this one this month and also I'm trying to read some more books from my physical TBR because I've been more reading um, stuff via audiobook or by getting it on my e-reader from my library but this was an author that I wanted to support by buying her book so definitely gonna get to this one this month. Next I wanted to read a book that I have had on my physical TBR for a really long time and I was actually thinking about unhauling it but I think that I'm gonna give it a shot and if I end up not liking it and then of course I can unhaul it and DNF it but that is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. This one was pitched as a vampire story but I have heard that it's not as vampire-y so this one takes place in New Orleans, Nor New Orleans however you pronounce it and yeah let's read what this one is about because honestly I haven't heard anyone talk about this in a while um but yeah it takes place in 1872 and our main character is 17 year old Celine Rizzo and she is taken in by the sisters of a convent and she catches the eye of some guy who's in a group called La Cour de Lyon. Lyon, Lyon, Lyons um, so yeah, I'm kind of going into it with pretty low expectations, which I know is kind of a bad way to go into a book because it might make me kind of slumpy, but I still, I feel like I've had this on my TBR for a long time. I don't want to get rid of it without having at least tried to read it. And who knows, maybe it'll be a, a gem amongst, uh, um, amongst the books that I've been thinking about and hauling, but I have heard some not great things about this one. And I don't know anyone that I've watched a video of like give this five stars, so not too excited about this one but i do own it so i might as well read it or that's just a waste of money so next we have clown in a cornfield by adam cesar this one i have to read this month because i have it out for my library and i don't want to have it have to like send it back and then have to put it on hold again so this one i don't know as much about this is a ya horror and i guess it features clowns in a cornfield i kind of want to go into this one not knowing too much about it because that's usually how i like to approach my horror 
reading. So I'm not going to give you guys a synopsis on this one, but of course you can look it up on Goodreads if you'd like to know more about it. But I have heard some pretty mixed things about this, but also some like really positive things about it. So I know this one's kind of like the hot YA horror nowadays, so I wanted to give it a try. Then we have a book that I also own physically, uh, but I don't have it with me. It's up at my parents' house, um, but I am going back there next week, so I will be able to read it there. And I actually also have it out from the library. Um, I got the hold on my Kindle, so I can read it now if I want to. Okay, apologies for this probably angle and light change, but I totally didn't even mention what this book is because I got distracted talking about ebook e versus physical book, but it is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshki. Uh, yeah, so came back to mention that so it's not confusing and also to take my thumbnail because I forgot that too. Okay, but this one is pitched to people as a Six of Crows like book which we hear a lot nowadays because six of crows like the hot thing right now so but i have heard a lot of people say don't go into it thinking it's going to be like that just because there's a heist aspect to it and i believe this one is about a guy who gets like acquisitioned from from this i don't know this society or from the government or someone and he has to join forces with this group of ragtag people and uh, they have to hunt down some artifacts. So I actually read the first chapter of this for a readathon I was doing a couple weeks ago, but then I only read like 10 pages the whole day. So that was really a fail. Um, but I am excited for this one just because it has gotten so many mixed reviews, but I have heard a lot more people now talking about it and loving it and saying that the sequel is amazing. So I am definitely gonna prioritize this one this month as well. Hopefully I get to it. If I don't get to it this month, I at least have the physical copy so I can read it whenever. Next up we have a romance and that is Vicious by LJ Shen. This one I heard Riley from Riley Marie talking about recently in her haters to or enemies to lovers video, which I will link down below because it's amazing. And in this book we follow our main character who um, whose mom used to work for this really rich family and they lived on their estate and then the son of the rich family kind of drove this girl out of town and then in the future she's kind of down on her luck and then they meet again and then she somehow becomes his assistant so I've heard this one's like really like the hate is like really a lot so I don't know that it's going to be to my taste I think it's probably going to be maybe a little problematic uh, but we'll see and also it seems like it's written in the first person tense but i'm not a huge fan of that in romance i don't know why i just feel like the sex scenes are like really awkward so i don't know we'll give this one a chance it is free on kindle unlimited so that's the way that i'll be reading it but we'll see i wanted to squeeze in some like just like just like romance that's easy to read during this month because uh, i do have a couple fantasy and some hard-hitting books so i wanted to kind of lighten it up with uh some smut basically next we have the black veins by ashia monet i hope i'm pronouncing that properly i feel like i should probably watch a video so that i know how to pronounce it which i will do after i film this but this follows our main character who is a guardian which in the description it says that they're basically magicians who can like create world chaos with like the snap of her fingers but then these like anarchists come and like kidnap or kill her family and then she has to go and find the other guardians who can help her kind of stop this war that's brewing so this i've heard a lot of really great things about i know that joel from uh, fictional fates has recently read it or read it this year and really loved it and i've heard a lot of other people talking about it and i just love a good fantasy i love a good ya fantasy so i wanted to give this one a shot and i did get this one on my kindle as well so I have really been been loving reading with my e-reader recently. I just feel like I read faster on it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I like hide the page count. So I'm not like, what page am I on? What page am I on? So I, yeah, this one seems fun too. And then the final book on this list is, uh, it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is a book that I have read before. I've read the entire trilogy. Um, but the next book or the continuation to that trilogy is coming out next year in I think February or March or maybe it's even January but it follows my favorite character from the series Nesta and I just like love her so much I know she's like so problematic in a lot of ways but I just am obsessed with her and I'm obsessed with her with this 
other main character who if you read it you know who it is but they're like the romance in this one in this like upcoming trilogy i think it's a trilogy i don't actually even know but i am so juiced i cannot wait i'm not like the biggest sarah j mass stan i read the first three books in the throne of glass series and while i really love them i never continued because she really did my ship dirty so I didn't continue. Maybe someday, but I'm still not over it. But I really like her writing is just so engrossing to me. I know it's not without its faults, but I just, I don't know. I just like get so addicted to her writing. I did read Crescent City earlier this year, but it was just like way too long, too long winded. I kept on seeing the same stereotypes I've seen in all of her other books. Um, so I just, it's not my favorite. So yeah, that is it for my December TBR. There are a lot of good options there. I hope that some of them will land on my uh, top 10 or top 20 of 2020 list, which I will also be filming this year and posting sometime during the next month. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any video suggestions down below so I can add them to my list of videos that I want to make over the next month. And I'm just really excited about the idea of kind of doing my own vlogmas. So I'm also filming a weekly reading vlogs this month, so you can look forward to those as well. But I'm gonna go and edit this because I can't tell you how many times I've filmed videos and just never edited them. So, we're gonna go do that. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what book you guys are prioritizing this month and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!